Jason with Denworks. Got something pretty cool today. It's a 1965 Ford Falcon club van. In 1966, they started calling the uh, Connell line. Uh, but this is the uh, last year of the Falcon name, I believe. This is really a cool rig. Very, very original, actually. You can see in the, you know, on my auction photos, the, the sun was just right. It kind of gave it more of a yellow. It is Wimbledon white. And it is a little bit more uniform, as you can see in person. It's just the way the lighting was uh, that day. The, the sun was down a little bit and stuff. So you can see it's pretty uniform. We'll walk around it really, really good. I'll put it up on my lift and everything. But one of the, the reasons I was really attracted to this van is, first of all, I like these. I've had two. Uh, <clears throat> I've had two pickups, and then I had another van, pretty much like this, but nothing as original as this. But if you look here, it says Wallowa Fire Department. Over in Eastern Washington or uh, Eastern Oregon, there's this camp. They got a gondola, go karts, big glacier lake really popular over by uh, Joseph, Oregon. We used to go there when I was a kid and I'd uh, ride go-karts around and it was really, really fun. They still have go-karts there. I should probably take my family there again. But anyways, this was used at the fire department there and it just has a lot of neat history uh, for me in general. You know, they probably used it as kind of an ambulance and different things at the uh, fire department there. So anyways, we'll just walk around it. You know, a lot of it is original paint, um, but they they painted in certain areas. And this is really cool. You can see Wallowa Lake Fire Department here, and then you can kind of see the, hopefully you can see that, kind of like a, a shield there. And I think what they did is, from about here up is original paint, because I can kind of see where they kind of blended right here. But here it's got a real thin coat kind of on the bottom half, but not really down here. It's just kind of in this midsection. And I think there's, if you did sand it down some more, there's probably some writing that's probably on the van uh, somewhere on the sides. I'm not 100% for sure. But this is definitely, when you see the photos, a little wider. That's because it has been sanded off uh, before. We didn't buff it or anything like that. It's just just old looking and the same thing on the front you can see this is the original paint original paint on the edges but they painted the front nose part and you can see a little red underneath there so I'm not hundred percent what's back back behind there but we'll go ahead and uh, start showing you the lights you can see the marker lights work and we got headlights got bright lights we got turn signals, left and right. And if you look up above here, the original lights work up on the roof. They work in the back, I'll show you that. And they'll go ahead and show you the uh, spotlights. These are the original spotlights. And they swing around and everything. Really, really cool. As you can see here, it says Unity right there. And go ahead and show them the other one real fast there, Keegan. See that one's... That one's on and working. So, actually really cool that those are still there. So we'll just walk around the front. This thing does not have any Bondo. It doesn't... You'll see some little surface rust. But no body work has been done on it. I mean, this is just unmolested rig right here. I've always loved the uh, headlight bezels. And these, I mean, it just has a really cool look. Almost looks like Stanley. But you'll see little, you can see little dings, different little things on it in general. A lot of rock chips. You know, you can see there's a ding there. The windshield actually looks pretty good. You know, there's one little kind of, two chips there that look like they've been repaired. But there's two little cracks and you'll see it's, a little clouded around the edge but overall the windshield I'm not saying it's perfect because it has a couple issues but I wouldn't change it or anything like that the original gasket has been touched up with some urethane right here there was a big split and we filled that uh, but it seems to stay pretty dry I'll go ahead and show the wipers real fast 
you know the wipers work everything's uh working we did a lot of work just in general a lot of maintenance you know we worked on the motor and you know different gaskets and stuff it has new brakes around it has new shocks um, everything looks pretty good if you look at the nose again actually pretty pretty straight when you look down the side again this side is is actually really straight and uh, and looks good right here it looks like a BB gun shot it could have been a 22 but probably not this is actually pretty cool you can see this has been shredded someone shot a bullet from the inside here you can see and then it blasted out the the other side I just thought it was kind of interesting I don't think I'd ever fix it I think it's a kind of a cool little story we'll go ahead and look down here I'll put it on my lift feet so you can see it but you can see the original spot welds you know no rust around the wheel lips I mean it's really pretty amazing you can see some original spot welds down the side here you know look at the rocker it doesn't get any better than this you know just a really nice old survivor you know you can see there's no tape lines around the windows at all you can just see where they blended it in right there I'm not sure exactly what this might have been a big antenna I'm guessing the roof really nice condition roof gutters not rusty you know it's got 33,000 miles on it I'll show you the interior it's actually 32506 odometer works and everything I believe it is 33,000 miles I mean it's how much did they actually drive it there at the fire department look around the wheel lip no rust really clean just just a lot of little scratches and stuff you know the gaskets back here look pretty good there's the seam here that didn't fill glass looks good and it's really cool these windows this one pops out this way and this one pops out that way it's like a big old scoop you know so I'll show you those later we'll go ahead and uh, flip it around here so you can see the other side uh, real quick and we'll go from there start here to the back go ahead and rev it up a little bit go ahead and rev it up you can hear it sounds real nice you can see the brake lights we've got tail lights we got tail lights take your fit off the brake then tail lights you can see the lights are on and also you got the lights working for the uh, license plate we've got upper lights things up on there and then uh, reverse lights you know we spent a lot of time just getting all the lights and everything working in general so actually pretty cool and we'll just walk around again you can see this here's original paint actually on the corner but they just painted this section right in here so there must have been some writing I'm guessing on the doors there somewhere see it's flaking off you kind of just scratch it off if you took time but overall pretty clean little thing right there another little dent and I love the round tail lights I think it's 66 they had a, a long looking tail light just didn't look as classic anymore you know original paint on this corner as well and I'll show you on my lift too. You know, bumpers were an option at that point. You can see these little indentions here, but there's a spot here for a license plate underneath. So a lot of people drop the light for the uh, 
the bumpers on it, but it's nice that it had them on it. And I don't know exactly, it's almost like they backed up to get something at the fire department because it, it's all rubbed off on both sides. And obviously they had stretchers in and out there and that's why that's all rubbed or, you know, equipment or whatever. So you can see some little indentions here, big scratch. Again, you can see where they blended in. This is original paint here on this corner. But you can see where they, they blended in on the door here. So the door here and a little bit into here. So there must have been some writing there. Two indentions right there and obviously one here. You know what, if you had a really good ding guy, you might be able to massage that out and make it look a little better. But it is what it is. I mean, the most important thing is, I mean, this thing is not rusty. This is just surfaced here. The tires are uh, 185, 75, 14s. I believe they are from 2014. I think another one said 2013. You can see that date right there. Again, no rust on the rockers. Really, really clean. No rust around the wheel lip. A couple little dings right there. I haven't sanded anything away from this door at all, but you know, this actually door kind of looks pretty original uh, to me, but there might be something underneath. Um, this is probably the biggest dent right there on the corner. Little thing there. <clears throat> but hopefully that gives you a good look of it in general. You can see the gutters again are really clean. Both the flip out windows. But hopefully that gives you a good look at it in general and we'll go ahead and uh, show you some more stuff. Here we are, we're gonna take a look at the interior real fast. I just wanted to show you the key does work. See here, it does lock. This is like kind of the last year of these. I mean, really, you know, I just like little things, little details, and those little key covers are cool. The other thing you'll notice too is how nice it shuts and how nice all the panel gaps are on it. Looks, looks good, but we'll go ahead and show you the interior here it originally had a the, uh, the seat covers were um, kind of a well, kind of a tan but I don't know about for the fire department just when it was ordered you know they might have put these on because this is definitely old stitching and stuff yeah, but you know they might have replaced it uh, there you can see the Ford Falcon steering wheel it's actually a really cool cockpit here your engines underneath here if you didn't know already so that's really really neat very spartan across the dash you know you got your, your heater controls wipers mileage says 32506 i don't have any documentation but i believe it's probably true this here was originally for a beacon light on top you know your lights and stuff the only gauge that's not working is the uh, fuel gauge uh, right now you know pretty cool in general we did put a floor mat in it in the front and the back. It actually had one in it, um, probably when it was new, but we went ahead and put another one uh, in it. You know, this here is your parking brake. This here is pretty cool. This is your choke. This one here is kind of like a speed or a speed control, you know, like a throttle control or maybe a cruise control. And it actually does work. So pretty cool. You see the original doors. One of the um, important things, original uh, armrest. One of the cool things here is, you know, usually these are just rusted out to death. And this is actually really clean. You'll see it's a little bit of surface rust. And under the floor and stuff, there's a little bit of surface rust, but it's actually really, really clean. In general, it's not rusty. And I'll put it on my lift and show you, but you can see here all the original spot welds. The door jam looks good. You know, no accidents or anything. You can see the original door tag right here. We'll take a close-up <clears throat> on it for you. And also if you look right here, underneath the doors, again, they're not, not 
rusty, no damage at all. I'm going to go ahead and uh, hop on the other side, show you a few more things, show you the exterior, or the interior back there, the cargo area. Here we are, we're going to take a look at this side. Actually, I didn't try this key, but we'll try it. Yeah, it does work as well. Again, look how nice the door shuts. You know, really, really clean. You know, again, actually the gasket looks pretty good. A couple little cracks right there, but I wouldn't change this gasket at all. Not rusty underneath the door. Glove box. It's a little checklist of ours, but um, you can see the original cardboard's in there. I don't know what these are. R14, LR, R26. Not 100% for sure. Um, you can take a look at this seat. It looks good. Right there you can see the reason that's all kind of rubbed up against and little cuts is from the doghouse. And I'll just take a look at the engine while we're at it. Just lift this up. And there she is. It's a 170 underneath the hood here. You know, we did put a new valve cover gasket on it. Got the original air cleaner and everything. You can see it's got a new fuel pump down there. But overall, pretty clean underneath the, uh, the hood. You know, nothing's been changed. Here again is that throttle control. And it goes back to the carburetor. And I'll show you how that operates uh, later. But we'll go ahead and look in the back here now. I'm going to go ahead and show you the uh, cargo doors. This is pretty cool because this isn't a uh, factory option. It was something that they installed. But when we got it, that did not open. It was fro uh, pretty frozen shut. We actually built a little rod. It was missing, so we put a new rod on it in general. And I'll go ahead and open that side there for you. It was nice to make that open again. You can see some of the door cards and stuff are starting to wear. But I got pictures of it underneath. The doors aren't rotted or anything like that. You can see this little surface rust around the edge. That's what you'll see on the floor in you know low spots. But again, it's no, no rust through or anything like that. This is actually really solid. You can see right there. Just more so, so surface. You know, if you wanted to take the matting out, I didn't glue it down. You kind of sand it and put some pour 15 in it in general. But, you know, I was just trying to preserve it. You know, you can put your motorcycles or even camp in here or, you know, put a go-kart. I mean, it's just a great little canvas in general. You know, here's these windows. Right here. They actually pop open. I mean, imagine, especially on this one. How much air would be pushed in there and so all four of them actually open and actually seal pretty good so right there this probably had see those little metal pieces there there was probably something that slipped down in there and it was probably for a stretcher or something like that that's how it shows you how to use the door handles so I'll take a look at the back here real fast. You can see this door card's ripped. But again, really clean around the edges. Go ahead and open. We'll go ahead and open those windows real fast on the other side so you can see them. Original straps. You know, a lot of room in there. I mean, you can walk around and, and stuff. So you can see up here, this is the battery. That's where the battery is right there. And here's these windows open. We actually got the dome lights working. You can see the, actually turn the dome lights on real fast. You can see the headliners a little warped in general, but the dome lights we did get all working again too. So those are functioning. And I forgot to show you the, right here's the spotlights. 
they won't turn on right now because I don't have the key on. But actually really, really cool that those are there. And you can see the little sticker. Allow fire department. So hopefully that helps you with the interior in general. You know, back there in the corners, really clean, original spare tire in it. So anyways, we'll go ahead and uh, show you some more stuff. speedometer is going to be working and the alt and uh, fuel gauge like I said wasn't working before but we'll go ahead and show you the the heater you can hear the heater turns on a little loud you know but when you pull it out that does the temperature and then now the heat's down on the floor so it does defrost and uh, the floor but obviously you don't hear the fan as much when it's on the floor so that works. I think I showed you already the wipers are working on it. You know, so gotta stop them in the right spot. There we go. So anyways, now we're got it in second gear right now. I'll go ahead and show you. I wanted to show you the speedometer is working here. Odometer reads 32507 and it's actually working right now. So anyways, hopefully that gives you a good look behind the wheel. Right now I'm going probably, I'm going 50 miles an hour in third gear right now. It's got 350 rear end and stuff in it. Yeah, but it, it actually cruises pretty good. Right now I'm at 55. I'll bring it up to probably 60 here in a minute. Wanders just a little bit, but but not terrible, you know. Especially since we put some new bushings on the front. Right now, I'm at 60. Yeah, you know, I'd probably cruise this to 65, no problem, you know. So it just takes a little bit of uh, getting used to. So, anyways, enjoy the ride, and uh, we'll show you some more stuff. Hey, I forgot got to show you a couple things the horn works but one of the things I wanted to show you here was the choke is hooked up you can actually hear the the engine rev up but this here is that throttle control I was talking about so basically to make this work you just push in and pull it out now you can hear the engines revving up you know so if you're driving down the highway or something like that and you just want to have it revved up and act like a cruise control you could do that so, but then basically to shut it off, you just hit the button and then the uh, RPMs go down. So I just wanted to show you how that was working. I could have done it while we were driving and stuff. It just makes it a little harder. So anyways, we'll show you some more stuff. This is going to be real short. Just wanted to show you it running in general. Not as fancy as you see it, you know, you're lifting up a hood. But, uh, you know, it does run nice. It just sounds good. Go and rev it up just a little bit. Sounds good. These little 170s were great little engines. Hey, here we are. We're going to take a look at the little van underneath. You know, you're always you're going to still see the still photos and everything um, in the auction and everything like that. But you know, the first thing I look at when I look at a rig is, yeah, it looks really pretty, looks really cool on the outside. But I want to crawl underneath. I want to look at the structure. And stuff so doing a video just gives us a better opportunity uh, to show you stuff poke at different things and look at different you know items on it so we'll just uh, start here to the front uh, to the back some of the stuff you won't notice obviously when it's 
on the ground you're gonna see you know little denting and stuff up here on the nose obviously this was used at the fire department so it probably did go th through some brush and stuff like that and and uh, hit some stuff uh, a little bit so uh, but the nice thing about up here is usually these are really rusty up here on the nose there's a little pinch weld right here and a bunch of stuff gets um, <clears throat> trapped in between here and the front valance if you look here it's super super clean down here in the bottom of the uh, I was gonna call it a rocker but this is you know the rockers are back there but down here usually this is really prone to rust and in these areas but you'll see the original spot welds across there we'll take a look at this side real fast you can see a little puncture right there but again really really clean no rust bubbles you know you'll see some surface rust on this thing but it is not rusty really pretty amazing uh, for one of these for sure you can see there's no rust bubbles in the bottom of the doors we'll just start here we did take the the oil pan did have a, a dent in it so we took the oil pan off put a new gasket and uh, pounded that out so uh, it was leaking a little bit of oil from the the uh, gasket anyways uh, oil has been changed we did put new new shocks you can see this all the way around you know the brake lines look really good you know, I haven't seen any cracks or anything in those and <clears throat> I took the wheels off you'll see in the auction it's got brand new brakes and everything uh, it looks really really good we're gonna hit all the zerk fittings we put a new dust cap right here and then we also put on the sway bar bushings you can see here new bushings up here and there's a new bushing out here on the outside uh, sway bar stabilizer uh, bars this is the heater control valve right there if you're wondering what that is the other thing is here I mean just look at the floor there's your master cylinder the floor is really really nice up here in the nose you know another thing about these a lot of these have been poked in the nose up here and hit you know and this is actually really clean up underneath here and there's not any damage inside there if you look at the frame you know this is a unibody but if you look at the unibody framing and stuff really really clean you know it's got factory undercoating on it if you look back here again this is another area where it's just they're just going to get really rusty and this is super super clean I'll just take a look at the other side real quick back behind here the reason i'm spending a little extra time is i mean these it's just really hard to find one in this condition i mean look up inside the wheel wheel there really really nice so we'll look back here <clears throat> right here's the step you know that comes out and you can't see back behind her but I've seen it this side looks exact where that step is it looks exactly like this this rocker and the reason this was saved you know Eastern Wash or Eastern Oregon where this was at Wake, Lake Wallawa it, they don't salt roads and stuff over there it's kind of a high desert kind of area um, but you see these drains usually these drains get all plugged and you'll get rusty rockers as you can see here these rockers are really clean all the original spot welds really really nice it's got a new fuel pump on it that was the original transmission original engine now since the photos you can see this has all been cleaned and we regasketed this put a new seal here so that's one thing that you'll see different on the photos and then we did service you know put uh, new gear oil in it as well but since the photos this is this has changed and the funny thing is we changed this uh, the gear oil first and then we came back and then realized the seal is bad so then we had to redo everything so uh, here's the original tag which you'll see it's got a new uh, alternator Oh, you can see back up in there but you know the floors are just 
just amazing in this thing. You can see the unibody frame. Super, super nice. And it's just kind of unheard of in one of these. You can see some of the undercoatings coming off right there. You'll mostly see it mostly in the wheel wells. I'll show you here in a second. We did put a new exhaust. We, you know, we put a cherry bomb on it and we, uh, you know, welded up some pipe. We don't have a pipe bender, but uh, Troy did a pretty good job. So it sounds nice overall. You can see the tag right there. It's got 350 gears. I think someone's already asked me that on an auction. When you see these on my uh, auctions, 219, it means that we serviced it, put new fluid and everything in it, and we did regasket this. Um, you know, the brakes have been changed, which you'll see. There's the new shocks. You know, it's amazing how nice this thing uh, drives. You know, it just cruises right down the road. Another area that these are really, really bad is back up here. You know, really clean on this one. You know, it's not rusty. You'll see the little, little dents right here. It had been pushed up there a little bit, but again, not rusty back here. You know, you could get these as an option too. Some of them had bumpers, some of them didn't. So that's where you'll see here. This was a Lyson uh, plate area, but this one came with a bumper. They look kind of cool without a bumper on them, actually. You can see all the original spot welds. You know, again, this thing has not been in an accident. It doesn't have any Bondo. No body work's been done on it. They just painted over some of the other stuff a long time ago. But you can see all the pinch welds. Again, back here, super, super clean. Very, very nice. If you look inside the wheel wells, you can see here where some of the undercoating came off. We actually chipped it off, but you can see there, that's all the original paint in there. Really, really clean. Last thing I was going to show you real fast is just the rocker on this side. You can see all the spot welds. You know, it just looks looks really clean. So, anyways, if you uh, got any more questions or anything, you know, let us know. We'd be glad to answer. And you can make comments or give us a phone call. And we'd be uh, glad to help. So, anyways, it is no reserve. And Top Bid gets it. Mm -hmm.